Hey, uh, in, in closing, just wanted to... my mind. I was ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Another topic that came up with many of our uh, partners during the seal was our, our expanded appetite, specifically about alternative energy. Wait, what were you hearing out there when it came to a turn of energy? Yeah, people are definitely, they want to know what what can we do? What can we write? I mean, and I think kind of goes back to the fact that we are regional based. So we specialize in what we see. So down in the South, we're seeing a lot of struggling farmers leasing out their farms, putting on commercial solar farms. And, you know, we're able to do the guys that are installing the full solar farms, servicing the solar farms, commissioning. We're doing anaerobic digesters, right? Or biomass and waste to energy plants. So that's a lot of the business down there. It's great to see that the alternative energy is gaining momentum and, and interest from our brokers. And I think it's important to kind of point out that alternative energy, it's a broad term, right? It's not a class of business. It's a whole segment that includes many classes of businesses. And we have different products and different solutions depending on those type of classes, whether it is the ownership and operation of a facility or a product that they're manufacturing, or if it's a contractor that it's doing the installation of solar panels or doing the engineering of biomass uh, system. So not all one, one suit fits everybody and, you know, we tailor specifically for what we see. And, and again, what, what's going to separate us from the competition is our product suite. So with this alternative energy segment, our product suite's fully available to them. So that includes the GL package, the access auto and workers comp. So Wendy, you were talking about farms in the Southeast. We do have farms up in the, the Northeast, but in New York City specifically and around that area, rooftops are our farms. So what we're seeing in commercial rooftops, big warehousing, they're putting these solar farms and then co-oping it, getting investments from the community and then putting the electricity back into that. And then they save on electricity. And with those flat roofs, our full product suites available to them. And we've been seeing some success in the Northeast. I kind of fall, falter on whenever people are out and they're asking, I obviously say what, we, what we're what we heading on, but hey, if you think it might be alternative energy, just send it to me. We might have to ask a couple questions, but if it's something we can get comfortable with, bring and it on. I know last year there was a lot of discussions about PFAS. How did those discussions right. evolve this time around? We noted that uh, there was a lot less discussion uh, about PFAS than it was last year, right? Last year was on everybody's mind because you know, everything, everybody was talking about it. We have been proactively uh, addressing PFAS concerns for a while. We were one of the first markets to do so over, over a year ago. We come out with a very specific position on when do we provide coverage for PFAS, because sometimes our insureds, our contractors that are in the business of cleaning up pollutants and contaminants, right? And when we might uh, just put an exclusion for that type of exposure. I think that suggests that there's a lot less uncertainty in the marketplace about how this type of exposure is being addressed in the market. Uh, you know, the ones that are just stamping an exclusion on everything versus those that are trying to carve out some coverage and some protections for certain classes of business. Another topic that I heard quite a bit as uh, environmental segues into other industries, especially in the demo. What do we send? What do we send? Should we send this to you? Should we not? I always tell our broker partners, send it to us. It's worth a five minute conversation, even if it's a no. All the partners I met with during with CEO were like, I like that. I have five minutes. Who doesn't have five minutes, right? Just do it. Call us. Don't make assumptions. Yeah. And that's exactly the experience that we have at WSIA, right? Every person that would see it on our table or that we would meet with had a, a, a very insightful question about underwriting appetite and our coverage position, because that's their day-to-day -day bread, right? We are at WSIA, but everybody has emails to respond, clients, questions, things to get done. So while there, we are always getting those questions like, hey, how you guys handle this? What do you guys think about that? And just as you described, it takes a brief conversation. Our goal is to continue to try help out our brokers and meet those needs. Just hearing how every other region operates, when I, Northeast, Southeast, West, it was the same recurring thing. The focus on customer service, in addition to our product offer, which separates us from the pack. So that added value, being coming more than a piece of paper, has so much value. 
I'm saying value quite a bit, but I can't overstate the need for that, right? So us to servicing our customers, whether it's in-house claims, risk engineering, underwriting, capacity, we provide the one-stop shop. That's really putting a lot of partners at ease and comfortable doing business with us. Well, I think it's all environmental carriers look at environmental a little bit differently. We all have our own comfort zones. I think that's one of the important things when it comes to telling brokers, send us your stuff. Let's have conversations. And we heard about it. I mean, that was one of the fun things of attending a, an event like, like WSIA. We heard so much positive feedback about our people, our teams, our way to do things. I think the, another thing that we do really well, Alejandro and Whitney, is we, we don't really have gaps. I was telling Alejandro, I'm so impressed with our programs and how they just effectively and efficiently just underwrite this stuff, turnaround times. I never get a complaint. Any of my partners that use our programs, love them. So we got the program, which focus on segments, small business, chemical, restoration, residential. And then you have the regional office that handle the bigger things. And so it's really nice. I don't see any gaps in, in how we do this. And being broken out between regional program really allows us to maintain that customer service edge. Well, I think uh, that's good enough, Matt. Uh, good enough for today. I think uh, we want to thank everybody, all our partners that we met at WSIA, and even those that were not there. Thank you so much for your trust. Our success is because of you. Excited and looking forward to uh, WSIA 2025.